please subscribe and click on the notification button so you could get our latest news. Happy listening. Fanny Kayode writes open letter to T.Y. Danjuma. People, this is getting really serious. A former minister of aviation, Mr. Fanny Kayode, has written an open letter to the former minister of defense, Theophilus Danjuma, retired. The letter reads, Dear General T.Y. Danjuma, you still can't find the boss to speak the truth, and yet you are complaining about others? You, more than anyone, helped put the North in power on July 29, 1966. You also supported Buhari in 2015. Speak now and free us from the bondage that you put us in. Kani Kayode, who claims that the nation has lost so much that it doesn't have anything more to lose, says, We have nothing to lose anymore. We have lost it all already. Our nation, our freedom, our dignity, our honor, and even our self-esteem. The only thing that we have left to fear is fear itself and death. Yet to die is Christ, and to live is gain. He then urged, fear not, and speak the truth to power. He added, we must be bold enough to speak the truth. And the truth is that Buhari is not our main problem, but all those who collaborated with him and conspired to put him in power in 2015. We won them over and over again, yet they insisted on putting a beast in power. Now they are complaining. He went ahead to name those who he believed put the president, Major General Muhammadu Buhari, retired in office, accusing them of demonstrating poor judgment. Due to their poor judgment, hundreds of thousands have been killed in four years. That blood cries to heaven, to God for vengeance. How true, how very true, the former minister of aviation has said. If truly T.Y. Danjuma has anything to say as regarding the nation, I believe this is a time for him to speak out and not to act cowardly behind any pretense. He should come out and speak so that Nigerians can be free and we can face our problems squarely. And like the news has been going on in a few days of Godfatherism, a few of them, a number of them has helped put Buhari in power. Now the beast is out of their control. But we must tell ourselves the truth. We must tell ourselves the truth if we must be free. If T.Y. Danjuma has anything to say that is a detriment to the nation as a result of some people in power, I believe he should speak up. But we all know Nigeria as it were, right? <laughs> if he speaks today, I doubt it if his life is already not in danger. And that's why we must continue to support one another and uphold those who have secrets that will deliver the nation. We must be able to protect them so that they can speak the truth and our political alliance can come to our rescue. It is important that you and I stand up for Nigeria, for Nigeria is first our country before any other country. We must stand up for the dignity, our rights, our honor, our self-esteem and our pride as a nation so that our children for, from, for tomorrow can look at this nation and say, I am a Nigerian. People, please subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get the news as it drops hot. Things are happening and you need to be abreast with what is going on, especially as this case is ongoing regarding Fanny Kayode, especially T.Y. Danjima. He has something to say, and I believe in a couple of days, things will begin to unfold. Remember, subscribe, 
click on the notification button so you know what is going on. You cannot stand on the sideline. Thanks very much for listening. Leave your comments. Let's look at this together and have a good day. God bless.